Hey guys, so I just filmed this haul and it was pretty friggin' terrible. Like, I forgot to put on mascara and eyelash. I did not put mascara on. Uh, I had to go plug in my camera because the battery was dying and my battery is gonna die. And like, I was dropping crab on the floor. Oops. And like, you know, this cat, this cat over here, he's like, he always wants to be in old things. Anyways, we're going to try this again. If there's cat in the background, just don't mind him. He's going to do what he wants. Never had a cat before. Um, there are a lot of different dogs. I've always been a dog person. and Now I have this cat. And, um, yeah, he just does what he wants. But, he, I mean, he seems to be like a sweet kitty. He's... He's fat though, like he eats, he's hungry all the time, like, you got some cat advice, give it to me, because I don't, I don't know how to cat, like, I just, I don't know. Okay, anyways, on to the haul. <laughs> this stupid cat too. Anyways, um, so... I saw online that e.l.f. had this mattifying HD balm, much like the one from, well, the other drugstore ones that are out are uh, CoverGirl. It's in like the little round compact thingy and um, Revlon. I have both of them. I just got this one. This is the whole reason I made the purchase from to e.l.f. anyway. Um, because I want to try that one out because the the uh, the CoverGirl one I like it was it worked good. Um, the Revlon one is in that small kind of rectangle container, and that one smells really good. It's got a light, really nice, light um, kind of perfumey smell, and um, I'm not sure that I like it the same as I like the CoverGirl. I've never tried the Mali one. I've never tried the one from Benefit. So I don't know how those are, but this one is the e.l.f. HD Mattifying Balm. Um, it is, uh, uh, it would help if I didn't read it upside down, 9 grams, 0.32 ounces. So if that means anything to you, then that's what that is. And um, the texture of it feels much like the other ones, um, kind of silicone, well actually you know, not as silicone as the um, the Revlon one, but anyways, that's that's that. And then it comes with a applicator sponge. And you know they say you can like use it to mattify your makeup, but I'm a little weary of that, and I would only use it a under my makeup or b if I didn't have any makeup on and I just wanted to mattify my face. Because a lot of times I don't wear foundation because I touch my face too much. And let's face it, ain't nobody got time to wear foundation every day. Or maybe you do, but I don't. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's the first thing from there. I think this one was $6. Let me check my packing sheet. That does not tell you the price, so never mind. That's completely useless. Um, the next thing I got was the mini eyelash curler. Um, so... I like it because it's small, and I'm small, and I've, I don't know, honestly I needed to reach $30, so I figured, what don't I have from e.l.f., and this mini eyelash curler is something I don't have, so I guess you just go in sections, and you can like curl even the tiniest eyelashes, but I'm not going to do it right now, because I have mascara on, and I can't see what I'm doing, I don't want to like lose an eyelid, or like a bunch of eyelashes, so... We're just going to leave that one alone right now. Um, and it comes with like an extra little cushiony thing. Whatever the technical term for that is. Um, then I also got these four things of shimmer, shimmer sheets. So I have pearl, bronze, pink, and golden. So these ones I thought were like a... Like a, it looks like a blotting sheet, 
like so. And um, I thought it was like a color, like a wipe on color is kind of like what I thought it was. But actually, it's just a shimmer, like the name implies, shimmer sheet. And um, you can use it as a highlight, like... I don't know like um i don't know what this would be good for if you're like me and you forget to wear put mascara on sometimes i always keep a mascara in my purse um because i forget to put mascara on like i don't know why that's just something that i regularly on a regular basis sorry there was a plane forget to put on so maybe you want to keep one of these in your purse and like oh you're going to a club or something or oh my god i forgot to put on highlighter or uh, I don't know, something, some reason why you would need to be shimmery, and you can, like, just whip one out, and, like, just, you can rub it on, your, or dab it on the apples of your cheeks, or, like, rub it on your face, or all over the decollete area, um, so it's just, I can open one for you, this was the golden, by the way, and I, I don't know if I can show you, but it's got, um, the shimmer on it so you just like rub it and then there's like you know shimmery things on you but um the one that I opened was over here right now no I guess I guess I opened the bronze one sorry that one was bronze it was not golden um comes in a little plastic thing like this and if you look closely you can see like the extra shimmery shimmerness what the heck is going on outside I don't even know ah uh, uh, sorry my cat was on my lap and then he just like used my leg as a springboard and he hasn't had his nails trimmed in a while so that kind of hurt but anyways yeah I got those um they were on sale and I thought it might be nice to try out so um that's that was that I don't know of any other uses you would use that. Anyway, moving on. I got the Lip Luck Pencil. And this is a, um, it's colorless. It, let me just read you thing. Keep your lipstick, lip gloss, and lip liner from feathering, traveling, or budging with the Smooth Glide Lip Luck Pencil. So you can use this as a, I want to say primer, um, like a lipstick base or like an eye, not eye, a lip liner because if you're like me you are lazy and you don't got time for lip liner and nor do you have time to buy lip liner in a color close to every single one of your lipsticks because ain't nobody got time or money for that so next best thing clear because clear goes with everything because clear is clear and you can use clear with anything um i also have one from rimmel it is Rimmel, I think. It's like a self-sharpening one. Um, it's clear. Same thing as this. Just keep it from feathering, you know, whatever. Uh, and um, I don't know what else I was going to say about it, but it's pretty thick. And, um, oh, mm, I don't know. You know, it's funny, though, is I used a lip liner as, like, my lip color today, like, just the lip liner and then I put a lip gloss over it. I was trying to be fancy but being fancy is not for everybody. Only sometimes. Today wasn't the day. I was just I was having an experiment day and no. It just no. Anyways that that's that and this one was like three dollars I think. Um the the other thing that that um never mind. Just never mind. Um I also got this new crease brush. Um, well, they said it's new. So I bought it because I love crease brushes and I love blend, bleh, blending, blending brushes. Um, it's so cute. It's kind of it's kind of on the smaller side, but that's cool because it's for your crease. Um, I love crease brushes and blending brushes because... Um, I feel like you use them the most, like, they're the most unassuming brushes that are just like, oh, it's a, it's a crease brush, it's a blending brush, like, who gives a crap, like, nobody. But, also, if you are like me, you do not like to clean your brushes on the regular, 
So sometimes you need a clean one. And this one, I like to try it because it's new and I like to try things. But do you know what I'm saying? I pretty much am just rambling. So we're just going to move on because you're just like, why are you going on about grease brushes? Because they're... Next thing, brush shampoo for thorough cleaning in between makeup applications. So, I also have their their brush cleaner in like the spray one. So it's like an antibacterial one and you spray the brush and then you like rub it on a towel or whatever. Um, I use that in between my deep cleanings because I am lazy. All of this is because I'm lazy. So what I do is I get like a microfiber towel and I spray it on there and then I swirl the brush and it gets all the excess color off and it disinfects the brush and you don't have to wash it as much. So then you just put it back in your little brush cup and let it dry. So this one is for when you actually want to brush, brush when you actually want to wash your brushes. So this one I thought would be cool. So what I use right now is the white bar of Dove Soap. And I just like, you know, just swirl it in there or whatever. I like it because it gets a clean. Um, it get, breaks down all the makeup. It works really well. Um, it conditions the brushes too. So, you know, you don't have all dry, nasty, brittle brushes. And, um, but with that, you have to, well, I guess with anything, you have to rinse it out really, really well. Um, but I saw this and I wanted to try it. So it disinfects as well. And it has, this has a, never mind, I don't know what I was reading. Disinfect brushes to provide a fresh and clean application every time. Washes, wa washes, washes away all traces of dirt, makeup, oil, and debris from your brush while conditioning the hair to help it, okay. See, so it conditions too, so I don't know, maybe it does not smell. And the, um, not the last thing. I lied to you. Um, I also got this jumbo lip gloss stick in flirty and girly. Um, I love lip crayons. Like, they're my favorite. They're my favorite. I just love them. But this one, I don't really like the color. Um, it's shimmery. Can you see that? It's got like full on like glitter. Excuse me, I kind of burped. Do you see that? I don't do too well with, um, uh, shimmer on the lips so I mean not shimmer but I mean it's like I don't know what I'm saying it's like a glittery and you can, you can see the glitters and I just I don't like it so I'm probably gonna give it away um then I have a mineral mist um and this is just it's got no parabens no preservatives no chemical dyes um, and it's just like a revitalizing mineral whatever, kind of like the Evian spray, I guess. So this has witch hazel, rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, aloe, and vitamin B in it. Um, it looks real cute. It looks real fancy. Um, and the mist is actually really fine. I made the mistake earlier when I sprayed it on my face of opening my mouth to try and talk and I tasted it and it, it's got a taste, it's not bad, it's not good, it does have a taste, I didn't taste it on purpose, you probably wouldn't want to taste it at all, so that's that. Um, then I got these two palette thingies, um, this one is a shimmer palette and this one is an eye trans formation eye transformer palette so this one is um in sheer sunrise and it is pretty much just a highlight palette um i thought it was a powder but it is not it is all cream these are all cream and um you can put them you can use them as an eyeshadow base you can use it as a cream highlighter you can use it as maybe even a blush let's see because, oh, no, 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 you cannot use a blush. No blushy. So this is, like, the pink one. Can you see? I'm bad, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at this. So, um, it's a very fine shimmer. It's not It's not too crazy. It's not like just lip gloss with the freaking glitter things in it. But that's cream. I didn't know it was cream. I should probably read more when I buy things because I, I don't, I, I didn't. 
And then this one is an eye transformer palette and it's got a green, cream, pink, and I want to call it a lavender shade in there, but I'm not really sure. Um, these are powder, these are opalescent shades, so you can put them as a highlight here on, you know, your eyeballs. You can put it all over a dark shade and it will make it opaly. Yeah, just transform the look of any of your eyeshadows. And I think it would be good for somebody who, um, ooh, 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 I know. If you don't have a lot of makeup and all you have is like one palette and that's all you want, but then you want something else, you can get this. This. Or if you are traveling, you can, you know, you're traveling, you don't want to bring a lot of crap. So you bring like a matte palette and then you bring this and you can make your matte eyeshadows not matte with this. I don't know. I just had this fantastic idea and I got really excited about it. Can you tell? I'm sorry. I itches. Okay, so that that was my elf haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys again later. Bye. What are you looking at? Does anybody else hate when their cat sits on their table? Because I do. Like, what are you doing? What is he looking at? Is there a bird outside? This is Kawhi, everybody. He was born in my backyard. And I saved him from the outsides. Anyways.